Well, it's that time of year again, the uh, STWWW 2012. I'll be doing my usual uh, guided tour of my collection. Start off with the Ben Peak engines. It's the uh, on the left there is the minuscule nano. The micro, minor, major, and then the one, two, and three. Uh, down here we have Phil Craft, Jenny Wren, Lilliput, Marine Engine, and two variations of the beam engine. Now the main stationary section, at the top there is a couple of uh, Sturding engines. And then on the bottom, uh, next shelf down, there's uh, Crescent number no. one and full set of SEO engines, including the marine engine uh, right there. And then we have the Kleinemeyer engine house. Next shelf down we have the Opitech and an unknown make, probably handmade vertical engine there. Then we have the Latimer uh, Mersey Aid and hiding around the corner there, Bernac. Next shelf down is the uh, Lesco D52 marine engine and then a weather designed Court Lodge number one. There's the uh, MF Steen twin Luton Bowman. Let's go D3, Littleston engine down there. And on this rack we have for Whedon, we have three Sildons there, another Kleinemeyer Kano type engine, and then down here we have. Well, stationary. There's a couple of Sildons. Three Mamad Marine engines. A couple of Mamad Meccano engines. And the bottom shelf of this rack is Bowman 175, M101, M122. Now on this rack we've got Wilson and a little Bing vertical and a big Bing horizontal and behind that is the Suffolk atmospheric engine which I've never got working. Uh, next shelf down we've got some Electrics, it's Robert Fulton there. Uh, behind that is a little red engine which has a leaky boiler so it doesn't work. And the Jensen 70, Empire B30, and another Whedon. And then on the bottom shelf we have the East German Pump and Brow and Swedish John Eriksson. Top shelf on this rack we have a selection of Mamad SE2s, various ages. And then there's a flat base MM2. 
next shelf down is more modern MM1 and pre-war SC4 SP4 and then SC2A next shelf have an SC3 the SC3C three cylinder one and sectioned SC3. Below them we have an SC1 there. It's a sectioned engine from the Lesco D16. And it's a complete D16. And on the back there D5, which I thought at first was a D6, but it's actually a D5. This is the, the early version of the D6, not the kit version. Over on the other wall, we have the boat section, uh, starting off with some pop pops with the Titanic there, the infamous Hamburger, there's a Rat and Deep medium size engine there and some small pop-ups for various makes and then here we have Midwest Fantail. The main mobile section we've got Willesco Old Smoky, Willesco very early roller there and T1 and down here we've got the Dray and SW1 and then on this shelf we have the Wells traction engine and the little Garkin three wheeler and the Sherabang Underneath the RSA one and a couple of dubious characters over there. In the loco section, we got the Hornby rocket there and the uh, Aitman and Porter look alike. And then the shelf down, we got Lamard SL6. Jubilee edition. Behind that, Bowman 234. And then, last but definitely not least, we have the uh, my latest mob artification, actually, Willesco, Willesco conversion. It's the early style car. And that's it.